Hello, uh, my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin Care and today I want to talk about what is uh, a rose hip seed oil. Now, um, you may might have heard of it, you might not, you might try tried it. It's uh, oil that has very little oiliness to it. Um, it's, I think it's called dry oil. Um, and that means, you know, you don't have to be afraid if you have oily skin, putting oils on your skin. And why I love rosehip oil, you know, while oils in general are better for dry skin types, this oil can be also good for normal or even oily skin. In my own preference and opinion, because I have oily skin. And the good things about rosehip oil is that it's high in vitamin A and C. And as we know, vitamin A, retinol, retin-A, are vitamin A um, super ingredients for anti-aging and, and in skincare and reducing fine lines, wrinkles, gentle, exfoliating the skin. While this is natural form of it, it's more gentler, of course but it's high in concentration in this oil as well as vitamin C is a natural antioxidant which is very popular in skincare and given that this oil assuming it's organic oil you know you're gonna have high quality of it um, now vitamin C is unstable so it's probably good to mix it with vitamin E because that helps stability uh, so if you use rosehip oil, you might want to mix it with a little bit. Sunflower seed oil, which is also low chemogenic scale, on low chemogenic scale, it's not going to clog the pores, and you're going to have extra benefits. Now, rosehip seed oil, it's not the same as rose oil. Rosehip seed oil is actually those round red seeds. They're kind of, I think they're in Chile, Mexico, where they grow a lot. And rosehip oil is actually good for eczema. It's known to calm the eczema. And rosehip seed oil, it has um, kind of like not strong, but kind of a nice scent to it and color. And um, it's usually not too expensive. I recommend getting a USDA organic one because you don't want putting any um, you know, byproducts on your skin from pesticides or anything like that. Now, always do a patch test. Make sure you're not allergic to any of the compounds in it. That's for any skincare, any oil, any essential oil too. Because plants can cause reactions. Any skincare can cause reactions, so I do recommend that. But rosehip seed oil, it's good for hair as well. You can put it on your hair um, and all over the body. You know, people have dry skin. It's redness is going to soothe your skin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. You can post them in the comments down below. I would appreciate thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And you can book an appointment with us, Brilliant Massage and Skin Care in Burlington, Vermont. Also, follow me on Instagram at Leader Brilliant and here on YouTube. I really appreciate that. And hope you have a brilliant day and brilliant skin and brilliant um, body because we fix bodies too. But this video is about skincare. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.